Hey, welcome back to Tell Samira. So today we're talking about the problem with mediocre friends. Yes, I said it, mediocre friends. One of the main problems with having a mediocre friend is that they can be jealous of their friends. You know, the thing is they can see you doing good or accomplishing things that they want to accomplish. Even if you're not doing the same things that they want to do, they can still get upset with you because they are not moving forward in their lives and they're stagnant. So instead of celebrating you, they're doing all kinds of things to hinder you. They won't, um, they won't help you promote your business. They won't post it on Facebook. They won't post it on Instagram. They won't tell anybody that their friend got a business going. They won't buy anything from you. They are just not going to be there to support you because you're doing something and they're not doing it and they don't want to see you thrive. Another reason that's a problem with these mediocre friends is that they want to ride the wave of your success. Some of them, they don't, they don't want to do anything to get a business started or any of the dreams they, they've been talking about for years. But as soon as they see you doing good, then all of a sudden they want to try to uh, give you some money to put in the business. They want to try to reap some type of a, uh, reward. They want to attach their name to your book. They want to attach their name to your work of art as if they did something but really didn't do it. You know, they're just trying to suck, suck you dry. You know, look looking for opportunities, but they haven't made any type of investments. You know, these type of friends are the ones that they'll get you all hyped up. You'll be talking. They'll be like, oh, girl, I got this great business idea. We should do this. I've researched it. It's got this, um, um, this kind of money can come in. These type of opportunities. It's great. I think we'll work good together. And then as soon as you start asking them more information, because now you're geek too, like, oh, wow, you know, um, what, what can we do? Because this has happened to me before. And then they're like, oh, you know, uh, well, really, you should research it. And I'm like, but I, I thought you were researching it, but it's cool. I'll look into it. And I start asking more questions. And the person's like, well, really, you find out they don't even know anything about what they're telling you about, except for um, the name of the business. So it's like, really, did you do any research? But then, they, then they're telling you, well, you should do the research. Oh, you should do the computer work. Oh, you should do the marketing. You start thinking, hmm, if I'm doing the research, the marketing, I'm doing all the computer work, then what is this person doing? You find that this person is not doing anything. They really want this business, but only if they can sit on their butts and get somebody else to do the work. And they think they have found you as the flunky, honey, and got you to try to do all this work. Or you'll get some friends like this. They want to, um, like I said, get you to do the work. They'll tell you, oh yeah, let's start the business. And you go out and jump out on, jump out there and you start the business. And they tell you, oh, they're just waiting for their next check and they're going to jump in with you. The next thing you know, you out there swimming out there with the sharks all by yourself because this person never had any plan to help you out. You just found out that this person is a mediocre friend and that's the problem. They didn't want to do anything. They just like to talk a big game, look like they're doing something, but really they don't want to do anything, honey. And if you ask the right questions and you start making moves, you're going to see this person, they never plan to do a, a, a thing in their lives. And that's why their life is still going the way that they don't want it to go because they don't want plan to do nothing, honey. Okay. Uh, another thing is, the way you can spot these mediocre friends is that they're constantly talking about what they plan to do. You can see them one year, two years later, they still haven't started whatever that plan is, whether it was going back to school, whether it was starting a business, whether it was uh, selling food trays, uh, making cookies, whatever it is they keep talking about, these people are never going to start this, this adventure. You can go around them and they talk on and on and on about doing it, but they're not going live one finger to do it. These are mediocre friends. Why are they like that? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. A lot of people just like to hear themselves talk. But that's what I think. And some people are, um, really grounded in fear. They, they don't want to step out because they fear that they're going to fail. And so, you know, they just keep talking and talking about what they're going to do. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have had mediocre spots in my life. I'm not just saying this to put other people down. But what I'm learning is, and I said learning because I'm not totally there, is to keep my, my plans to myself until it is done. That way you don't look mediocre because 
Sometimes you might have plans and you're going to follow, you plan to follow through on them, but something in life just happens. So what I'm finding is best just to keep your plans to itself. And then once it's done, then you let people know. Another way you can spot these mediocre friends is that they, they will try to talk you out of stuff. You will tell them, oh, I decided to do S, Y, and Z. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to move. I'm going to Texas. I'm going to, uh, Illinois, whatever you tell them, and, it's, and they have all these reasons, oh, you can't do that, oh, somebody I know tried to do that and failed, oh, I tried to do that, oh, you can do better, oh, I just don't think that's for you. They want to discourage you because they're not doing anything. They even got this negativity about them. So that lets you know that these are people that you shouldn't want in your life. You know, they're still living with people who they hate. They're still talking about some mate or some baby daddy or some baby mama who's still trifling. This person been trifling for years and we still talking about this? You know, the conversation is always the same around these mediocre people. I like uh, the comedian Kevin Williams said something that's funny. It may be inappropriate, but I understood where he was coming from. Sometimes people get caught up in the language of things and they're like, oh, I can't hear that. I can't receive it because how he said it. No, sometimes you just need to, to stop and uh, stop being so moral and listen to what somebody's saying because he made good sense. He said that he was tired of mediocre people, basically, that if he go around a person, let's say in 2018, and they selling weed, he go around them in 2019, they selling weed, okay. He go around them in 2020, this person still selling the same weed, has not moved up in life, Still selling it out their mama basement. Ain't ain't started selling no bigger drugs, heroin, uh, <laughs> whatever, no meth. I mean, they just still in the same spot. He said, look, I don't want to be around you. You ain't moved up from weed to the bigger drugs yet. You still in that same spot. You have not progressed. And that's what I'm saying with the mediocre, with the mediocre friends, you know. They still got the book that they've been holding on for 20 years and they ain't wrote the book yet. They still talking about wanting to do the daycare but they ain't did the daycare yet. You know, it's all kind of stuff. And the reason I can talk about the book, because I was mediocre with that book. I had it for 12 years. But honey, I done made some moves since this uh, little quarantine thing. I'm getting my stuff together on, on that. So, but I'm not going to talk about it fully. Because like I said, it, it's a work in progress. But I've made moves, major moves about, about the book. But anyway, at least I had written the book. <laughs> it was written. I have proofread it several times. I had other people, uh, friends, proofread this thing. This one, just something that I was just waiting around talking about. I want to write a book one day. I want to get published one day. No, honey, I sat down and wrote the book. Even though it was 12 years in the making, I wrote it all uh, within a few months. It was already done. I just ain't went through the process of doing everything else, but it's done. And a lot of people just say they want to write a book and they never do it. You know, where's the poems that you want to write? The the, uh, the, ar the artistic streak that's within you, you know, those things got to come out of us or we're just going to continue to be mediocre. The problem is a lot of us think we got years and years to get stuff done. You look around, I remember when I was 17, then 27, then 37, then now 41. Time flies and we can get so... Um, messed up thinking we got forever to do what we want to do and to be the our greater selves. We're always thinking about tomorrow, but like the wine it says, um, tomorrow I give my life tomorrow. But the problem with tomorrow is you don't know if tomorrow is coming. Tomorrow is not promised to you. All you got to do is today. So if you don't carp ABM and seize the day to day, who is to say that you got tomorrow that's um, coming your way? Back to the mediocre friends. So these people, um, they're, they're just forever. They're still at the job they hate. They're complaining and complaining about the job. But once you say, well, oh, you should move on. They got a ton of excuses. They're blaming their spouses. They're blaming their kids. Uh, they, they don't feel they got enough education, but they never even got out there to try to apply for the job. They're always finding some way to shoot themselves down and to disqualify themselves. That's the same thing. And some of these people, they will sometimes go ahead and start a business or do something and you try to work with them. I mean, you get mediocre service, you know? That's why it's, it's, it's hard sometimes to do business with folks that you, may, that you may know, even though you want to support them. Sometimes you don't get quality service. There have been times that I've known people and I've gotten good service. For instance, I had I bought something, some um, candies from somebody. And she told me, oh, I'm so glad you're buying some because I've been buying this candy for years. 
in years, and I actually named the candy, but, you know, I don't get much credit, but I named the candy, but anyway, that's another video, so anyway, so, um, I bought a lot of, I bought some candy, and this person told me they were gonna send a double portion to the person I told them to send it to, so once the person got the candy, they were like, yeah, I'm already done, I'm like, what you mean you done, you got a double portion of all this candy, they're like, no, I only got, um, one bag, I'm like, one bag, and the thing is, it's like, dang, mediocre friends, it's like, you told me you were gonna send two bags, bags you know to the person if not I would have just paid you for the other bag but you offered to do it but then it's not done so that's the thing with these mediocre friends they think I think sometimes that you know just not really business savvy and getting out here doing stuff making promises not following through some people I think they may have good intentions, but they just ain't got them biz business skills, you know, or think that just because you're their friend that they can slack. No, if I'm your friend, I still want good quality service. I don't want to have to keep calling you, keep emailing you and doing all those kind of stuff. I want good service no matter who it is, or I don't want to have to support you. If you want to be mediocre, you do that on your own time, but I don't need to um, support your business and you're not giving me quality service. And I don't feel I need to have a talk with the friend because if you in business you should know some things i gotta sit down and talk to you about customer service sweetie google good customer service i, I what are you doing with your life also mediocre friends i'm gonna give you some things uh, other things they do they don't motivate you because everything in their life is always the same you go around them they still borrow money they were borrowing money last year the year before 10 years ago 20 30 years and they still borrow money they still sitting around on a county check and they can and they're able to work but they're still just sitting around waiting on the government to help them out with something i don't want to be that type of person friend you know they never um want to do progress and do better you know in their in their lives but they always there to tell you what you they think you should do they how's it they think they know what you should do but they haven't even did anything for themselves i can't get it they want to point out everybody flaws but they themselves are mediocre so my thing is is hey these people if you want to progress in life the best thing is to try to get people that's doing what you want to do and was and doing better than you that you feel that you can learn and you can grow because this is 2020 why are we still hanging around with people who are not bringing anything to our table they just still full of drama you go around and they still cussing everybody out they still drunk that they still um high and can't function every time you go around them what is the purpose of being with those people i'm telling you that is the problem with mediocre friends and if you got a problem with this video it's probably because you mediocre so check yourself because i had to check myself before i did this video and do an examination okay so anyway it, please uh thank you for liking sharing and subscribing and leaving a comment below and i look forward to hear back from you let me know what type of videos you'd like to hear any topics i'm open for suggestions Thank you. Bye.